I'm here in my lab making bubbles. I've created a capacitor bank array out of stainless steel washers from the hardware store and I've used a nylon bolt and nylon washers which are not electrically conductive and I have used nuts to secure the end. I am using ordinary tap water with no electrolyte and the bubbles are forming quite rapidly. I am using an automotive battery charger by Allison at 12 volts and it's set on the 6 ampere setting but the window only reads one ampere. I'm not sure what the ohmic resistance is of my water and therefore I am uncertain as to whether or not I have any capacitive effect with the washers because naturally if the water has any electrolyte the water cannot function as a dielectric as it is a conductor. Nonetheless, the bubbles, as you can see, are forming. And I too am getting a lot of the scum on top of the water. And I'll show you a view of that. It looks like a big chocolate chip cookie with pecans or a warty toad skin depending on which part of the world you're from. I have turned the unit off and removed all the parts and cleaned them all and started with fresh water and I noticed no degradation of either the alligator clips I'm using or the stainless steel washers. So I too am at a loss for where the scum is coming from. I suspect now possibly that it may be eating away the rubber boot around the alligator clip. And I'm going to turn the unit off now and clean it again and see if I can shed any light on the mysterious water scum. I don't believe in this small sample of water that it would be possible to have 